Hello and welcome back. Follow us on our trip to the region of Medina in Saudi Arabia. We not only visit the city but also explore the natural wonders this area has to offer. We are leaving Taif after amazing five days with Rory and we'll explore the regions of Mecca and Medina. Before coming to Saudi Arabia, we thought it might be possible to visit the outskirts of the holy city of Mecca. But once in the country, it is very clearly stated that non-Muslims are not allowed at all in the city. So we went around it and headed towards Jeddah. In the 7th century, Jeddah was established as the official seaport for the holy city of Mecca. For pilgrims coming from overseas, this was their first stop. The historical district Al-Balad was thriving for centuries. With the oil boom, this district lost popularity and locals moved to the north of the city. In the last decades, Saudi Arabia has been investing to preserve these traditional buildings and bring wealth back to this district. As non-Muslims, we cannot go to Mecca, but we can visit the holy city of Medina. Just in front of the, um, the mosque, it's just huge hotels, like really, really new and a chaos of buses, private cars. We decided to get close to the Prophet's Mosque and witness from the outskirts of the square the many pilgrims coming to pray here. It was really incredible to see so many nationalities in one place, all united. We eventually left and headed north, looking forward driving again in nature. We have some leftover dates, so I'm going to feed some camels. I like you now. We are looking for water since a long time. They're pretty dry. I saw something, let's see. Normally next to a mosque, yeah.
Saudi Arabia doesn't have a centralized water system, so water is only transported by big trucks and then you have those huge water tanks on the side of the road where we think we can take over. And normally they are next to a mosque. In parallel, we feel the lifesaver through our exterior hose, which is connected to the main 50 liter tank. We started seeing the volcanic fields around us. There are more than 2,000 dormant volcanoes in Saudi Arabia. The Medina region has the largest shares of these volcanic nests and craters, with black but also white rocks. We checked the satellite maps and decided to get closer to them, not knowing how far we would get. took one of those dirt trucks perpendicular to the main road and just drove quite a bit and we ended up in Navadi, Wadi, it's a dry river. We stop here because there are trees so we can get a bit of shadow tomorrow in the morning and if the temperatures are good tomorrow we could stay here. We will see. Or we can go and explore around this volcanic area. I'm just making some tea. Oh, boiling. Last past six months, we didn't really prepare tea, but it's like since we are in Saudi Arabia, we are doing it pretty regularly. So it feels really nice, I don't know, in the afternoon to have some tea. Yeah, because we are getting used to the customs here. Good morning. So everything around here looks like this, a black volcanic. And this is the wadi where we slept in behind the trees. Those are the volcanoes. Yesterday we couldn't see it. But now we can see all of them. We still need to build the new shower, this is the old one. Kai is actually uh, trying now how it would look. Like this time is a bit different. Here we have 90 degrees so we, we are sure we can feel it to the top. And here we have a 45 degrees down so we are sure that we use all the water um, in the tube. I was editing this morning and now it's time to prepare lunch. I built our new shower. It didn't go 
exactly how I was planning to do. It's like I don't like those gaps here. I would like it to be completely in so we have more space to the door. Now we cannot close the door when the hose is on. Bit of a bummer. But other than that, I hope it's watertight. Once temperatures went down, we set off and decided we would like to stay closer to the volcanoes for the night. We didn't expect this to be one of the most epic off-road drives we had had so far. The landscape changed by the minute. We drove over bodies, sand and very sharp volcanic rocks in three colors. We came across sheep, donkeys and camels, also in three different colors. Oh my god, so beautiful! Looks nuts. It looks. I didn't know Saudi Arabia. There was this. I would expect this in South America. The sun was starting to set, and views at this time of the day were spectacular. We thought we would not be able to go that far. We were wrong. I hope you enjoy it as much as we did. It looks real. It's literally white. Yeah. Like here, it's really good. Don't need to follow when we come and go 
in the morning. Look at this place. We came all the way from there, very far away. So this is the path we took. We are just in this plateau. The path actually goes up to the crater and that's like vertical. No way we can do that with our car. Like no way. It feels super surreal to be on top of a volcano with a car. Like hiking okay but like with the car. It's 1700 meters above sea level here. And the views are spectacular. Then also nice part. Um yeah, time to shower. We still cannot use the shower. I mean we could not feel it yet. Um I have to use the water from the 50 liter tank. I'm gonna put give me a second. <laughs> Okay, I close the door and tell you when I'm done. <laughs> 